Okay, as you can see here, this is a completed painting and uh, I didn't time it exactly how long, but I think it was probably maybe 15, 20 minutes of actual painting time, plus the time it takes to do the sketching and stuff. But it has since, I have finished this, you can tell the, the paint was wet and it rained on it, but look at the texture it gave me, okay? Uh, years ago, I'd freak out and throw the painting away saying I ruined it because of this. But now I'm, I'm a little older, I'm starting to understand that uh, this will give me in three or four years when I look at this painting, I'll, I'll remember how hot and sticking it was raining on there. So this is an outdoor, it's an outdoor painting. And so uh, for this next little exercise, we will show you how you can take a painting that you have just completed and there's two ways that you can present it, okay? Uh, the method I'm going to show you, uh, the first method I'll show you, is the method I have been using since the 80s, okay? Okay, now, as I stated earlier, this is the Kilimanjaro watercolor block, okay? There are 20 sheets, okay? So what we have to do is we have to remove the top sheet here, okay? Now, this is very important. In my classes, I see people struggle with this all the time. Okay, what you need is you need a knife, okay? And uh, uh, it should be a pretty good sized knife like this here. The smaller the knife, the more trouble you're going to have. Now, these papers are glued together by this adhesive on the edge here. Okay? So what we have to do is we have to very carefully insert the knife between that page and the next and push it away from you like this. Okay? And the same with here. Never bring the knife toward you. It could slip and stick you. Okay, be very careful of this, okay, and just take that knife and do it here. You have to do all four edges, so just continue to work your way around it. And if you hold a knife like this, it just comes off of there very, very simple wise, okay. And then here, you just keep working yourself around here like this, okay. And we have one more edge here, okay. And just be very careful when you're doing this because you for a couple of reasons. You want to, you do not want to, if you get in a hurry here, which uh, you, you have a possibility of is coming over here and ripping this page, okay? Here is that, okay? As you can see here, I'm ready to go on the next, on the next piece, okay? That is the, the beauty of using these blocks, okay? Okay, great. We'll set that off to the side here, okay? okay. Now, in the 70s and the 80s, when I was learning this trade, I read Bill Condon's book. He wrote a book. He was a painter out of Denver. He owned a sand dollar gallery. But this is a view frame. See, you can see this here. But what you can't see is this is a operable door. And you can put paintings in there, see, to see how they look. This is for outdoors in the field. These are some paintings that I had completed. And you just put them in here, and you can see how well they look, if it's worth framing or not, okay? I think the painting that I just finished this morning is worthy of it. So, but as you can tell, this was designed for 11 by 15, okay? These are 12 by 16, so they're a little bit bigger, okay? But that's okay. What we can do is we can just start by looking at that, okay? See, look at that. See, when I just put that in there, and you go, okay, uh, the, the, the glazing on here is all banged up, but for outdoors, this is a wonderful tool. It's called a view frame. And what it enables you to do, it is enables you to see if you need to do any more work to your painting or if you just want to just call it good. Um, I have found through doing this for years and years and years, your first attempt is your best attempt. So don't try to go back in and, and rework it. Nine times out of ten, what you will do is you'll ruin it. Okay. So what we can do here, once it's, I, I look here, I go, okay, this is suitable for framing. Okay. So what we can do here now is they have, let's, let's take this back out here and we'll put these old ones back. I'll put a new one in there. There's one, two, three, 
one I did at home. And you can carry four or five paintings in here. And that way it, um, it uh, there, see how nice it looks? Okay, okay, now that we have this out here, we're gonna, it's good enough to frame. So, okay, what we do is now we'll have a, a pre-cut mat. These are also from Cheap Joe. He sells them with a quarter inch foam backing board. You can see here. And they are made for the exact same size as this. Okay, when you buy these pre-cut mats, uh, you do not know where this window starts. So what I would look, because of the paper overlap, what I do is on the back side, I'll take and I'll extend this line like that. And extend that. This is just a reference point for me. And I'll do the same up here. This is on the back side. Don't put it on the front side. Okay. Just continue these lines out here. Okay, it's very important for this step right now. Uh, here once again, I, I made the marks here so I can tell where this line is because once we cover up here, there's an overlap on the paper. So we want to keep it about like that. You can try to make you have equal distance here and here and there and there and right here and there. You know, you're, you're kind of guesstimating at this, but out in the field, just do the best you can. Now this is the uh, uh, framing tape too. It's Cheap Joe's right here. And it is archival safe. That, what that means is uh, it can, this tape can be on the back here for years and it will not damage the paper or anything. So just take and cut off an edge, cut off about a two inch piece and then this here, you're not holding up the Taj Mahal. Basically what you're doing is you're just holding this. Uh, and then what I do is, is um, I will take and I will bend that tape like that, okay? And that'll give me a pull tab if I ever want to remove this, this, this painting from this mat, okay? I just use your finger, press it down here. The tape is very, very good. Be sure and use your fingernail and press it around the edge of the paper, okay? Okay, uh, if you want to, and if you think you're going to be handling this, this, this piece quite a bit, and you don't want to have this fall down, what you can do is do this, okay? And just put a piece of tape right on the edge here, okay? Right on the bottom edge. It'll keep it from shifting. It'll keep it from, uh, it'll hold some of the weight. Okay, now you just flip that over, and by golly, look at that. We have a nice little painting. Okay, now the acetone, okay, here we go. <laughs> we're inside an old barn here because it was raining. We moved everything in and there's all sorts of barn material here, but that's, but that's great. It'll give it some character here. Okay, well, yeah, it's organic. This is a, a, a piece of clear acetate sleeve that is the same size as your mat. So what we can do is we can put, um, once we get the mat on here and you're out in the field, you can say, okay, let's get all that off of there. And let's just pick the painting up. You have a nice little work area here. Turn it around like this. Hold this up here. And just slip that on there. Come on now. Don't be difficult. There we go. Just slip that on. You have to go from the, the back first. In order, just grab it like this and just pull it towards you. And look, lo and behold, you have your painting that you had just completed. You have it matted and you have it presentable. And if you are ever invited, oh, some art groups have um, what they call quick draws and stuff. What they do is you all gather together and they give you half an hour to paint a painting and they, you're supposed to put it in a mat and everything and present it so you can auction it off. Okay, now here, this is important here. What you do is you just take that off of there. This is an adhesive tag on there and put that down and then just fold this over and it becomes not only presentable, but it becomes somewhat waterproof. You can dunk this, you can have it rain, like right here, you can see it's still raining. Look at that, the rain. You can have it outside and the rain will not hurt it to casually sprinkle on it. But if you, I don't know how good it would do if you submerge it, but 
you know, whatever. And see, you can just wipe that rain right off. And lo and behold, you have a finished piece of work that you can present to everybody. <laughs>